welcome back guys so uh, today I'm going to uh, show you guys quick tutorial and uh, at the end of the video I will show you guys on how I pass the catalyst uh, converter incomplete for my Honda Civic so anyway if you have a uh, different types of uh, vehicle you want to go ahead and uh, Google search how to pass your smart check with the drive cycle so for my I will need to type in uh, my ear and then a uh, Honda Civic Drive Cycle. So we uh, click on this one right here. So before your cars could be uh, ready for smart check, you need to uh, make sure your uh, fuel tanks has only have a three quarter or two one quarter of a tank on the fuel. So right here it shows you about how to perform a Honda Civic uh, drive cycle. So first you need to know about the uh, cold start. So begin from cold start. I mean, you need to leave your car without starting the engine. I would say at least uh, six to nine hours. And you want to do this uh, drive cycle early in the morning when there's none, hardly anybody around on the freeway or on local. And you want to make sure your uh, cooling temperature is below 120 degrees Fahrenheit and also within uh, 11 degrees of uh, the ambient uh, air temperature. And if you have a smart key, do not leave the key on prior to the cold start. Or just uh, remove the, your physical key out of your engine. Don't leave it in the ignition. And uh, you want to go ahead and then, uh, do the idle time. Run your Honda engine and don't drive it. You want to go ahead and then uh, start your engine and then uh, within the two and a half minute, put your AC in the full blast and your rear defrost are uh, on. So during this uh, period, you see you will run the oxygen sensor, heater, self-test, air uh, injection system, passive uh, air test, evap, purge, no flow test, misfire uh, detection. And then after that, we need to do the acceleration which is uh, turn out the AC and uh, rear defrost. Make sure it's off. Begin uh, driving. So let me give you guys a tip. You also want to turn off the either your radio or any other fan. Uh, just make sure you turn it off completely. But I, w I woke up around 5 something in the morning, so I had to turn on my headlights. That's the only thing that I turned on. So the ECU will now uh, run self test on misfire detection, fuel trim, and uh, evap purge uh, flow. So after you start the engine, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, drive on the freeway at the speed of uh, steady speed at 55 miles per hour. I was driving between 55 to 60 miles per hour for three minutes or I kind of tend to drive a little bit longer, like five minutes. And during this time, the oxygen sensor O2 uh, response, air instructive or AIS system, EGR flow, purge valve, misfire detection, and uh, fuel trim diagnostic will be performed. And after that, I have a long exit. So lucky there was no car uh, behind me. So I have to use my hand brake slow down the car without hitting the brake pedal okay so doing this step you uh, want to slow let off the accelerator pedal do not brake or shift your honda in order to slow down so yeah this one is uh, pretty uh, critical if you don't do it correctly you're not gonna pass the driving uh, cycle or the driving uh, monitoring so it is important to let the vehicle close along gradually slow down to 20 miles per hour. The ECU will once again self-test the EGR system, evap purge system, and uh, long-term fuel uh, trim. So after I took out the freeway, I kind of had to drive local a little bit to get back on the freeway. And then uh, go and accelerate again at three quarter of uh, throttle until 55 mile to 60 mile per hour is reached it. This will perform the same self-test as uh, doing the first acceleration uh, step. And again, you're going to hold it steady 
that same speed once again, this time at 55 miles for 5 minutes during the, this time, in addition to run the self-test as uh, doing the first whole steady step, the ECU will perform the catalyst uh, monitoring uh, diagnostics. Or the catalytic converter is marginal, or the battery has been disconnected. It may take five complete driving cycles to determine the state of the catalyst, or in order to complete the cat monitoring. So after the five minutes, you're going to do the same thing, decelerate to perform the same diagnostic in the first uh, deceleration. Remember not to press your Honda brake or shift gear during acceleration. This should complete the drive cycle on your Honda Civic. To ensure all monitors are complete, use a scan tool to view the monitors. You may want to complete the drive cycle two to three times. So let's go to the video and uh, show you guys what I did. Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to uh, show you guys uh, how I pass my uh, CATIS converter uh, incomplete for the small check. So as you see, I've been driving for like uh, 931 mile and 0.7 total. So, but the problem is uh, mainly that's, that's not the point. The point is uh, how to drive your cycle properly in order to pass your smart check, okay? So I just went to gas up the car. At first I thought I need to drive some more. So what I did today was that uh, I uh, drive on the freeway for about 55 miles to 60 miles for about five minutes. And after that, I try a little bit local and then get on the freeway again and by driving back. So I'll drive another about three or four minutes. So after that, I drive on local for a while. And oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention that if you drive 55 mile and I had to use my handbrake to slow down to without hitting the brake, uh, slow down gradually. Okay. So that's what I did. And also if you drive on a local, uh, I drive it on like a 35 mile per hour area. And I also, because uh, some of them are like going up here, some of them just going uh, steady. And I also use the handbrake to slow down to like one mile or zero mile per hour or almost to com complete stop. But uh, what I did was I woke up early uh, in the morning around five something to do this uh, test when there's not, not that many uh, vehicle around uh, at the, on the freeway or at local. And uh, after I gas up, I, f I thought I need to do the driving cycle again. So and I, s I connect to my OBT2 scanner and look what happened. So it passed, okay? Uh, somehow this one, the scanner, it works the opposite way. I'm not sure why it does that. But anyway, all of the readiness uh, eight has been completed. But for different manufacturer, different brand of car, uh, you have a different drive cycle. I did some research on my car, which is a 2009 uh, Honda Civic. And this is a ready to go small check because at first I went to small check and then it failed. And if you don't have a scanner, you could uh, shut out the engine. And then uh, put the ignition into on position without starting the car. And look at the engine uh, light. If it flash uh, five times, then uh, then the, your readiness is not ready. If the engine light uh, shuts off, that means it's ready. If it start flashing five times on the engine light, so there's no flash. So that means uh, my vehicle is ready for a small check. Okay. 
Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video, and please uh, drop your comments on below to see if this uh, pass your uh, smart check ready. And I'll see you guys on the next uh, video, like always. Peace.